I would say again, assignment number two, experience God evangelism. That after we ask the person, what did you experience during the prayer? And then if the person said they experienced something, then we quote the Bible verse to tell him that this was already explained in the Bible, that this is the work of God. What you experience is what the Bible said. You experienced the peace, love, joy, healing, whatever it is, it came from God according to the Bible. So first explain it, it's, this is from the Bible. And then, if God had, has blessed you like this, do you like Him to continue to bless your whole life and your and bless your whole life and forever. So do you want him to bless your whole life and forever? And if the person says yes, then you explain the gospel. The gospel is that Jesus Christ is God and he's also the Son of God. He came to the world to die for us, to die for our sins. When we confess our sins and trust in Jesus as our Savior, then we'll be forgiven and we'll have eternal life. So would you like to confess your sins with me and ask Jesus to forgive your sins and give you eternal life? And after the prayer, we'll ask, did you honestly, sincerely pray the prayer? If he has sincerely prayed the prayer, then we'll tell him, you sincerely confess your sin and trust in Jesus as your Savior, then Jesus has forgiven you and you have eternal life. And then we'll also help the person how to follow God. So these are the final steps which most people have missed. So I hope you put it in that you will have these steps to finish the evangelism. And some people miss the most important part, laying hand on the person, which is the most important part for the person to experience the Holy Spirit. And I want to say, so it's very important that you handle your life. Live in the love of God every day and handle all your anger, emotions, negative thinking, so that you'll be filled with the Holy Spirit every day and then you won't be affected by people. Stop looking at people. Stop eating garbage. And find a space that you can worship God and love God and be changed by God. And then you have the strength and the presence of God. And then you and also join the prayer meeting of the church that you can be filled with the Holy Spirit and have this power and, and tell the pastor you like to learn to lay hands on people, to pray for people.